Almost awesome, Sam McCoy. I just got back from vacation where I won this Pac-Man plush. You'll be sitting over there now. I don't even know what that expression is. What is that expression? What is he doing? So on this vacation I just got back from, I was riding a bunch of roller coasters. I love roller coasters so much, but when I was little, I was terrified of them. Which got me thinking, what if I made a list about my fears as a small child? So... That's this video. Like I just said, these are my top five biggest fears as a small child. Number five! Judge Doom from Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Now this movie isn't bad, it's actually pretty zany. The story follows this inspector who's trying to clear the name of Roger Rabbit, trying to prove that he didn't actually kill someone. However, trying to hinder him at all points along the journey is Judge Doom. He enters the movie being creepy. Just look at this guy, he walks around like he's the Undertaker. Even more disturbing than that, this is a world where cartoons can't exactly die. I mean, think about it. In cartoons, they don't really die. You can blast Daffy Duck's bill clean off of the shotgun at point-blank range and he's not gonna die. That is, of course, until Judge Doom found a way to kill toons. He calls it the dip. All you gotta do is pour it on a tune and they're going to dissolve like acid. It looks really painful too. This guy doesn't hit the insanely nightmarish factor though until the very end, where it's revealed that he himself is a tune. How do you find this out? Oh, I don't know, maybe because he gets flattened by a steamroller and then just gets up and has his eyes pop out like swords. How is that not horrifying? He may not have been the most terrifying thing from when I was a kid, but he was certainly scary enough to get on this list. Number four. There is a creature alive today who has survived millions of years of evolution without change, without passion, and without logic. It lives to kill. Jaws. This movie ruined the beach for me. And it ruined pools and hot tubs. Even my bed one time. I mean, I literally had a nightmare where Jaws just whipped through the bottom of my bed and ate me. Seriously, even when I was swimming in Lake Erie, I thought this thing was gonna attack me. It's like, there's no sharks in Lake Erie. What are you thinking, small Sam? There aren't any sharks in your aunt's pool either, but you can't swim alone in your aunt's pool or else guess what? You're gonna get eaten by Jaws. I always needed a swim buddy when I was little. And this thing is the reason why. Thank you, Jaws. You ruined the water for me and millions of other people. Number three, Large Marge. When I was little, I used to watch the movie Pee-wee's Big Adventure. It's a good story. Pee-wee gets his bike stolen, he goes on an adventure to find it. It's really lighthearted, it's cute, it's fun, it's good for little kids. Except for this one part. There's one part in the movie where Pee-wee gets stranded along the highway in the middle of the night. He tries hitchhiking to get to the nearest town. When someone finally pulls over, he gets in and sitting next to him is this lady, Large Marge. This is where the movie just kind of goes into the twilight zone for a little bit. Large Marge starts telling the story about a terrible accident that happened along this very stretch of highway on a night just like this one. In fact, this is the anniversary. The story gets worse and worse as she tells about how the driver in the car that was in this accident was pulled out of the mangled wreckage. And when he was pulled out, he looked just like this. I don't like it. I don't like it. Yeah, that's, that's nightmare fuel. I'm going to be seeing that in my little child dreams. What's even worse is that when Pee Wee ends up at a gas station, he tells all the other truckers that he was driven here by someone named Large Marge. All they have to say is that it wasn't actually her. It must have been her ghost. <laughs> be sure and tell them Large Marge sent ya. <laughs> Number two, the Velociraptors from Jurassic Park. <laughs> Where do I begin with these things? are smart, they are deadly, and they just want to eat you. The whole movie starts with one of these little kids getting scared by the stories of a velociraptor. Later in the movie, there's two kids getting hunted by them in a kitchen. Just imagine what that does to a small child's mind. Seeing two raptors come walking in through this door because they know how to open doors. Great. You have no idea how many times 
I was walking through a dark hallway in my house as a little kid, and I just imagined one of these things coming through a door on the other side. I mean, these things are the final villain of a movie like Jurassic Park, which has a T-Rex in it. You know they're terrifying. Clever girl. Number one. Now, when I was little, I was shown a movie about an alien invasion. In fact, I was shown several. I watched War of the Worlds, I watched Plan 9 from Outer Space, but none of them scared me quite the way this one did. For my number one pick, the thing I was most horrified of as a small child, the Martians from Mars Attacks. Look at this monstrosity. These just these scrawny little aliens with giant bulging eyes and their brains swell out of their heads. Uh, and they're just, uh, they never blink. Uh, just, uh, I don't like them. I don't like them at all. Every time my dad wanted to freak me out as a little kid, he'd just look at me and make this noise. Now, I know this is dumb, because anyone who's seen the movie, when they're older and they can look back on it, even myself, sees the comedic value. These guys are supposed to be funny. They're supposed to be dumb villains. And they are! I watch it now and I laugh at them. They're hilarious. But when I was a kid, I hated these things. I hated them so much. They killed Jack Black. They turned him into a skeleton. They turned a ton of people into skeletons. They even took this lady's head and put it on a chihuahua's body. What? Uh, what? Sadistic, scary-looking aliens from Mars that just want to wipe out humans because they think it's funny. That is my childhood nightmare right there. So guys, thank you for walking down Nightmare Lane with me as I talk to you about all the things that made me terrified when they went bump in the night. As always, I've been Sam McCoy, and I hope you had fun. So until next time, see you later.